Hello everyone, my name is Rodondo Blessing Mutsueda. I'm back again with another tutorial and today I want to show you how to bypass a shell if your laptop has stuck on a shell. So now there are two solutions. In the previous solution, I show you a temporal solution. Now, this time around, I will show you a permanent solution. Now, a temporal solution that I show you previously was to type exit and hit enter and then it bypass. And then the temporal, that was the temporal. Now, I will show you the permanent because one thing you need to know is that this is caused by uh, when you have dropped your laptop or you have your windows has crashed or your hard drive has crashed or you have removed the hard drive and inserted back again so now i'll be using one hand so uh, bear with me i will have to move sometimes so that i can touch the key the laptop keyboard now i'm touching alt control delete so that i can restart my laptop now laptop is restarting i have pressed ask quickly now i type e x i t enter ask e x i t now took me here it took me to the i hope now you can see yes it took me to the utility setup page now on utility setup page you need to move you need to move to uh, just wait my laptop it's not moving need to move to boot setup now if you look here on the utility setup if your laptop has not been partitioned before you only find boot option hashtag one if it has been partitioned once you will find boot option is check one and put option is check two if it has been partitioned three times like mine you'll find them three of them like that now on your boot option hashtag one you press enter you'll find four options your option that you need is the windows boot manager that's where your operating system is at that is your windows so it was here on EFI. Now I'm changing it to boot manager. Once I've changed it to boot manager, I have to save F4, save and continue. This is the solution straight forward. Once you do that, you are fine. Your laptop will be good to work again. So I will say this as I conclude this is caused by the order on your boot option if it is rescheduled it is no longer on the schedule it's no longer on the windows but it's on official it will not open or switch on it will take you to a page so one thing you need to do is to press power button before the laptop switch on you press escape or ask button on the S, you'll find the utility page. On utility page, you go to boot page. On your boot page, you go to your uh, boot option hashtag one. On your boot option hashtag one, you enter, you'll find four options, and then you choose the Windows Manager option. 
once you choose the windows manager option you save the change and you continue and you will be good to go if you see my laptop like this soon it will be on it's just loading and finishing it will be on this is the solution this one it is permanent once you do that you it won't stuck on that page again unless you remove the hard drive again or you hit the laptop against something again this is my laptop it has switched on as you can see the only thing that is left is for me to put on the password oh my name is Nzedaro Tondwa thank you so much for watching this video if you have got any question make sure that you ask i will come and reply down on the station make sure that you subscribe to our youtube channel like our videos share our videos go and invite others and tell them that things are happening don't struggle with these pc laptops that are normally being given by the higher institution of learning to the students no the solution is here and it's here to stay with me so i've taught you save money and then take and take use this solution thank you so much god bless you hey, i've been speaking waiting for my laptop to switch on it's still loading so that it can switch on um but all, all in all this is it guys this is it thank you yeah thank you thank you stay blessed this is the solution